Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, it's been a long one for us. Kids are out of school today, so I feel like it's um, hectic. They're making tie-dye shirts right now. Hopefully they're distracted for a few minutes. Go on. Uh -oh. Sorry, guys. Hang on. We're trying to go on YouTube to. We're trying to stream it live like we do our others as opposed to how we were doing it, recording it. Uh, <clears throat> it just said video unavailable. Yeah. Weird. It might be streaming, but just we're going to check just to make sure. Let me check over here. Yeah. If you don't mind. I just lost my cursor. There we go. Anyway, today, we're, well, we'll say in a sec, but trying to get started here. That's it. Wait. Go on. All right. Do the settings. Where's that? Yeah, I got it. I'll show you what you do. Click here. Edit that. Yeah. That's, that's All right. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the last uh, Monday of the month. So we do a Q&A. That's what we are doing today, guys. Yes. So, that's so bring it. I want all your questions. Fire them in. Yes. Um, this is our second one. So if you missed the announcement of uh, last month when we started it saying that this is how we're going to do it, I need to see the screen. So oh, sorry. So, but... <clears throat> um, so yeah, we're going to do our... And now these questions are a little bit more gen, supposed to be more general than specific. So like if you have a question on a specific medication that you're taking and interactions with those or uh, whatnot, those still need to go uh, via email. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we'll answer them there, but uh, we do get a lot of um, repeat questions and that's why we want to be able to use this to kind of tackle those. So as you guys are thinking and writing anything. Yeah, in, write in, please. I do have a few that okay. we're going to start off with. Um, and they're not going to go in any particular order. We're just no, going to bounce back and forth. Not at all. Awesome. And what I first want to kind of tackle like is hmm? like pickleball. Pickleball. Okay. All right. <laughs> what I first want to tackle is um, price because, you know, I do get the common question and I have my great email that I always send back about it, but I kind of wanted to talk about it. And it's really how can we have such quality products for such affordable pricing? And I, re I feel like um, we're kind of warped in our thinking with price. So, example, I, if there was a, a menu at a restaurant and there was a $2 hamburger or there was a $12 hamburger, personally, I'd be inclined to go for more than $12 hamburger because I would think that that would be better quality. Okay. And that's how it goes kind of for everything. You see, we have a $18 supplement, but it's versus somebody's $65 supplement. You think, hmm, well, there's must be better because it's more expensive. It's just, it's common. We all think like that. It's very normal. Um, but I want you to know, like, it, it um, the products are super high quality, just as other ones are super high quality too, but we have chose a different model. We have chose not to increase our prices 100 to 500%. That's, um, that's not helpful to the masses, right? That, that eliminates a lot of people that can't afford them and can't stay on them. So uh, live good is literally a completely different model. We are, we're shaking up a lot of different things in both the network marketing industry, as well as like the retail industry. So um, very just different thought. I don't know if you have anything no, you want to add on to that. No, good answer. And Ben says it great too. And so does Nora. They say we don't have to, you know, price gouge so that a bunch of people on the upline, you know, can get paid on it. And that's a true statement. But on, from a company perspective, from a profit and loss perspective, you know, our balance sheet, we keep things very lean. You know, we don't have a giant back office with expensive office space and lots of overhead. I mean, that's just the bottom line. We just keep it, keep it simple, work from home. We do the things like we do here. We all pitch in. We do everything we can from a, from a founder sort of, um, you know, anyway. Yeah, we wear multiple hats. Yeah, for so sure. We're, we're all working hard to make it so that we don't have a lot of overhead so we can keep these prices. Which I love that concept, mm -hmm. but you're right, Lisa. Yeah. Some people are at first a little bit skeptical, like how can this be done for that? And we're very upfront and transparent on the cost of manufacture. I mean, there, you know, most of these products can be made for 10 bucks to 15 bucks. Right, Yeah. right, very easy. Um, okay, another thing I wanted to talk about, oh, there was something with shipping that I wanted to say. Okay. And I'll come back to that. All right. <clears throat> You have a list of questions still? Because I'm, I'm going to go to the... I do. Um, okay, so children. I said this one last time, but I still get probably at least two emails a day asking this. Um, what is? What can I have for my so-and-so is 12 years old, doesn't, doesn't sleep? Can they use a sleep patch? No. Currently, all of our products are dosed for adults 18 and older. 
With that said, doesn't necessarily mean that someone under 18 can't have it, but that's not how they are dosed. So that we, that's why we refer you to your pediatrician. Yeah. So don't stop there. Bring the products, talk to your, your child's pediatrician and see if they, you know, say it's okay for them. <clears throat> so constantly going to go back to that. Um, our international packs. Okay. I, I think when we talk about shipping coming from Germany, that we're about to, you know, start a whole international pack, people think that it's all supplements are going to be available to be shipped from Germany and, you know, out internationally. That is not the case right now. Correct. Okay. That is still a future goal. But what we are starting with is an international wellness pack. Um, We're still working on it. So it's not available yet, but what it's going to be, and we've showed this before, I think on the Fridays, but what it's going to be is this already made pack that has in it your super green, super reds, your daily essentials pack, whether you pick the men's or the women's, as well as factor four. That is all you are, um, are able to order from Germany shipped internationally. So when it is available, you will see it on the website as the international wellness pack, the international ultimate wellness pack. Okay, again, comes in this low-key live good box. Everything's nice and tight packed. Um, so that will be the first step on launching things out of Germany. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, do you want to... Oh, I didn't get any water for you. Do you have water? I have water. Okay, perfect. For what? What are we doing? Okay, so we're going to talk about the methyl- methylene blue our, application. Our, our newest product release. A lot of questions. Yes, lot, yep. Lots of questions because um, we understand that not everybody wants to have a bright blue tongue walking around. <laughs> um, it is, does make a statement. It is great for sales because it you know, strikes a conversation. Sure. Um, but, you know, this is, it, it's, um, and only they've also asked why we can't get in pills. So we need to talk a little bit about that. But with that said, um, we're going to show you, I'm going to have Ryan show you because I already took mine today. Ryan's going to show you an easy placement to help minimize the blue. You still going to have blue on your tongue, but it's towards the back. And typically when you're talking in public, you can't see the back of your tongue anyways. So not to worry about. Um, and then there's another way other people, I'm not trying it this way because I'm fine putting it on my tongue, but I'm um, putting in a glass of water, letting it dissolve and drinking it with a straw. So very simple way. And they said there's very, very minimal blue, if any at all. Okay. I think that's the policy. That's what I would tell people to do. Dissolve in a little bit of water, three, four ounces of water. You can just dissolve the film. It's water soluble. Just drop it in and slam it back or take a straw. And I think that'll work. I'll try this on the back of the tongue. I have not done this yet. So it's an experiment for me as well. (laughs) But as far as what you said about going into a capsule form, you can, I don't know where that's, I think I heard you even say that it's not like it doesn't work orally. It does actually. In fact, it does. Um, so that's something we could explore. I just enjoyed this dosage yeah. form. I thought it was right. like, cool. And it was, we were, I thought it was trouble having, finding a manufacturer that would actually. Yeah, no, 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 it's just okay. a simply a function of, I like this. I think this is super neat and cool, okay. but so we can evaluate things ongoing explore. in the future. Yeah. That's yeah. so what am I doing? Hold it horizontal. Horizontally the back of the on the very back of your tongue. Okay. Do not close your mouth. Uh-huh. You can feel it start to dissolve. Can't close your mouth. And that's sip water. Try water back to the glass. Don't make sure none of the water comes back into your mouth. Are we good? (laughs) Keep talking. Okay. Is it sticking? Yeah. So some people have actually said that it's stuck, but I don't know why it works for me. It doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. Okay. Well, maybe not the best best example here, but I don't know. It works for me. I placed it back there. I started drinking water. It goes way down. And I think I showed last zoom how I just kind of had a teeny strip on the back of my mouth um on another still going on with methylene blue is is the urine I think the mint flavor is good I mean methylene blue tastes a little funny but I think it tastes nice let me see your tongue yeah so it's still wet okay so Mm -hmm. he didn't do a good job next time I'll show you I'll show you guys (laughs) I'll try again next time um but uh, yes the urine guys we have said before and it is on our website that you will have blue greenish urine and this can last, um, you know, a day or two. It kind of depends. I will tell you, it's kind of funny, and I don't know exactly different times going on with my body, but sometimes the blue doesn't show up for like maybe 15 to 24 hours. Sometimes it shows up pretty quickly, and then it lasts a couple of days. So it's very normal. It's part of the process. Yeah, I've never said this on the camera, but methylene blue also is used for urinary tract infections uh, in some studies effectively because it's an antimicrobial. Right. And it has achieves a decent concentration, obviously, in your bladder and your kidneys and your urine output. So. Right. 
Um, All right, let's okay, move on. Moving let's on. Keep going. Um, another thing is shipping CBD. People are asking you know, why, when, or when is it going to be available? So. The reason this happened is all carriers have stopped shipping CBD internationally. So this is something, unfortunately, we don't have control over right now. And we we hope there's a uh, you, it, we can resolve this in the future. But as of now, there all carriers are not doing it. So that's where that stands. Um, next question: Amino acids and protein. So I think because I've been I'm talking a lot about. Um, how many grams of protein we should be having a day? I've recently received a lot of emails about uh, our amino acid, and, and it doesn't list the protein content on the amino acid container because amino acids are not protein; they're the building blocks of protein. But there is a little bit of a conversion that you can you can use if you want to count your amino acids as your protein. Can we simplify it and just say do, don't? Right. No, I say it's, don't count it. I've it's done, so little. It, it's so little. I've said this in the past, and I, I think I've overcomplicated it. So I say simplify it and just do not count the amino acids. Okay, with that said, here's how I would do it, though, if I was trying to count towards my protein goal. If we have 3.5 grams of essential amino acids, which we do in the, in the essentials, and 40% of it is leucine, which is what you want, that's your goal for the ratio in muscle protein synthesis. The, you could say one to one, you could com com comfortably say one to one. So you get three and a half grams of protein there. Other studies and some things have said that you could go as high as three to one. So that three and a half grams becomes what, 10 and a half, three, six, nine, 10 and a half grams. So I just say, don't bother, don't go there because it's so effective at muscle protein synthesis that some people can count, you will, you can count it towards your protein goal. But if you're talking about adding up to adding 10, I mean, that's not, it's sort of like not a big deal. So just don't bother. Just take whole food protein, use that as your, as your goal, as your measure metric to, to measure. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, let's go into some questions. But don't forget how important those essentials are. Just that three and a half grams, uh, three hours in between, like, you know, in between meals keeps your body in muscle protein synthesis. Right. So it doesn't start breaking down. Your body does not start breaking down its own muscle. Very important. Okay. Um, we have a question just about weight loss products being available. Uh, we're be big believers in whole health. So not something like a quick fix. Mm -hmm. um, we may in the future have, you know, a supplement with certain herbs that might help stimulate the process. But right now, um, if, you know, we have our lean body, lean pack. body pack. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's targeted for that. Is it okay to take half a methylene blue a day? We did say this on the yes. introduction. Yes, you can, yes. but you still need that uh, break period. Uh, yes. Okay. And so, can you explain the break period again? Because uh, that was another topic. Yeah, of course. Of course. So we're go what we're trying to do is restore normal mitochondrial function with methylene blue. We're trying to restore those powerhouses of the cells. It wouldn't make sense to stay on it all the time forever. And I don't think people would want to anyway. All right. So I say cycle it. I chose every other day because that's what I prefer to do. And based on the half-life and the way that, that, that it works, I think that's most effective, but it would be fine, perfectly fine to say, do it every single day for 15 days or 30 days and then take an equal length break. So if you're on it for 15, break for 15. If you're on it for 30 straight, break for 30. You can find what works for you, whatever you like to do, guys. I mean, but I'm just, all I'm saying is I'm suggesting that it's probably just not ideal. I don't think it's like a bad thing, but not ideal to just stay on it indefinitely every day. Which, uh, <clears throat> unlike protein, where I would say, no, protein every single day. Amino acids every single day. Reds and greens, no harm. Every single day. Right. Um, question about yeah, essentials back. No harm every single day. Right. <laughs> question about um, eight people over age sixty and nutrient needs. Um, they're they're even more than um, when you're younger, especially for protein. I mean, it, things just increase. You need the extra protein. Um, you need the the you know the magnesium. They don't absorb as well, right? So, right. Yeah. So it's just yeah. you, yep. you need all the same vitamins. Are you saying the goal changes? So would you would you suggest to someone over for protein? Yes. What does it go to? For protein? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't I don't have exact numbers to give, like new grams per body weight, but it's so detrimental to your health to make sure as you age that you are consuming even more protein than when you are so that's, younger. Yeah. So the one gram per pound of body weight is an aggressive goal. That's not easy to achieve. That's just not easy. And that's, that's on a high end of what you would typically see in any, say, right, like suggested use or guidelines. Right. Um, Here's the issue though. If you stick that gram per gram per pound of body weight after over the age of 60, and you possibly have kidney disease or long-standing hypertension that your kidneys are starting to become compromised, you may have trouble with that increase in protein load. Right. 
So I'm just saying that's one example of where one gram might not be. Yes, you have to. I would say what's more important as you age over 60 is to consistently get in adequate amounts of protein, like, like work towards getting in enough protein, but don't set your goal so high. And um, if you're doing that, then speak, of course, with hopefully you're getting your blood work done, you see your kidney function, and that you're, you're, you're conversing with your, your medical provider on that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Does taking magnesium during the day make you tired? It can. It oh, can. It? Yeah. It can. It can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, but I mean, that that would be if you're like extremely sensitive. So I take both mine at night. Just is that mean that you're really sleep. deficient? I just wonder. So if it has that kind of effect, is that implied that, that your body just really, okay. really, yeah, that you're just deficient? But some from... people are, yeah, react that way. I haven't noticed it. <laughs> um supplements good for cholesterol guys we have a whole zoom on cholesterol check that out yeah tattoos in the area of the patches tricky i think i don't know how that actually would negatively impact it um not sure i would say shot probably not a problem right you still right. have you still, still have dermal same. layers you're still right yeah it's still the same thing the ink is embedded it's not mm-hmm. superficial it's not on the surface right should be fine and best way to remove the stickiness um coconut oil alcohol swab okay little things like that just easy that you know you typically have on hand um no beef liver is not in the collagen organ meats totally different supplement what do you mean this one is beef liver pills in the collagen oh there are no organ meats in the collagen although i do like organ meats i'd love to have a supplement like that in the future yes So on methylene blue, again, um, photobiomodulation, that word I've used, and why do we want to go out and seek sunlight after consuming methylene blue? Because it has synergistic effect. So they work better together. That's right. really the simple answer of it. So if you take methylene blue, like right after I get off this Zoom, I'm going outside for a short walk. So and I'll let the natural sun hit my skin and trigger uh, more ATP, natural energy production. Um, can you take collagen more than twice a day uh, or more than once a day? Yes, I take it twice a day. Uh, yes, you know, a one to four times a day. No reason not to. So I actually um, say load it a little bit heavier for the thir- first 30 or 60 days. Uh, does it matter if you take the powders, reds, greens, collagen, meadows, in warm or cold drink? Does not matter. I would mix the collagen in warm water if you want to prevent that clumping. I think it's hard to move. Yeah. I love it, guys. Thanks for all these questions. This is great. Why does the protein have less savings when you consider the current price is for a half a month supply? Uh, the ingredients in it, you know, that's uh, the fermented pea. I mean, you know, yeah, organic hemp. The way we, the way yeah. we source everything, it, it's that's that's the price that it is. <clears throat> um, what did I want you to talk about? Serving size and settlement. Can you talk about that one? Oh, sure. No, anytime I, and look, we've talked about this in the past, but on, in these bottles, so the reds and the greens too, specifically, they're filled on weight, not volume. So when you get a bottle and those organic contents have settled, yeah, I mean, potentially each scoop has more weight than what it's really, really, I mean, what it's designed to have. So it's good to mix the contents and aerate the contents prior to use. Like you could do it right when you get it and then let it settle. And then every three uses or so, I'd say, I mean, just kind of shake it and move it around and keep it aerated. Obviously it's whole food right. ingredients and just, that will settle. And right. because, because of that, people get concerned and go, oh, well, my bottle is less than half full. It's, I didn't get a full serving. That's not actually accurate. Um, and if you're like, if you're sco- taking a scoop and you're packing it and filling it to the top and even just filling it to the top, sure. sometimes it's rounded. I mean, you're getting more than a serving. So sure. it's not going to last the 15 days for the protein or like 30 days, 30 days on the for the super reds and greens and aminos. And aminos, yeah. I mean, if you really well, we, want it to be 100% accurate, you get a food scale and weigh your powder. Yeah, totally. And we've pulled the retains actually in different multiple lot numbers. Mm-hmm. We've gone through and tested it and weighed it and done this very scientifically in a sense to make sure to ensure that they're, they're filled to the proper weights and they are everything has passed yeah um do you want to oh, do, do, do. is it okay to have a cup of coffee after taking methylene blue and super red screens all in the morning yes i love it yeah i think that yeah i was just using the live good organic coffee 
Um, the electrolyte products, so you're talking E3. Um, yes, that was not a live good product. That was um, from our, from Ben, our CEO's uh, prior company. Mm -hmm. And it was just sold while supplies last, but don't worry because we have we our coming. Replacement, coming. Re replacement E3. And aren't we keeping the same name? Yeah. I think we're keeping sure. the same name. Yeah. yeah. So I'm it's an even, to... it's a even better, improved, it's far better. Cleaner. Yeah. You guys will love awesome. it. So it's coming soon. <clears throat> Can you do a methyl B complex? We That's all in our multivitamins. Methylated. Yeah, all of our B vitamins, the B12 is always going to be methylated. That's in our Ooh. multi. Shoot. What? Why is this? Let's keep moving. We got to go I'm quick. We're already 20 minutes in. I want to give oh, people. Boy. <laughs> Pet CBD oil for a horse. Sure. sure. Yeah. Those things are going to be much higher, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't get through it. All right. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I know there's a lot of questions we're not going to be able to get to, but I want to respect your time. And can you wait? You're going to have a piece on time. Oh, this one. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. She's saying with methylene blue, you break it in half and place both pieces on top of each other for anyone that has gag issues on go. our back. That's what she's Good been tip. doing, and it's been working. See, so you really just have to play around with what works for you. Um, Jenny's laughing at us. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it okay to take it at night before bed? Assuming you're talking about methylene blue, I wouldn't. Um, it does light your brain up. You know, you feel like alive. So um, it's not like it's stimulating, but you know, why waste that sleeping? <laughs> Thanks, Larry. That one's good. No strain over here, bud. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> How true is it that the product is more effective in liquid than capsule? Uh, what was the one we did on collagen? If you could watch the collagen video, there's a good oh, piece on on, on liquid versus powder and why it's. Uh, I'm not a fan of liquids. No. Where are you looking? Oh, Cynthia. Yeah. So it has antimicrobial properties. You can research the methylene blue, uh, type that in on your own. You'll see that it doesn't disturb the microbiome. It doesn't disturb. It actually just has a new, sort of a neutral effect. Um, you'll, it's an interesting thing. It's, it seems to get pretty technical, but again, it's been well studied. Uh, we're working on a gut supplement. Um, someone's asking, would the methyl, would the blue show up in your blood if you were bleeding? Mm, what? No. Okay. I would I just. Mm -mm. No, I don't think, I, I'm sorry. I didn't really, I don't know how to respond to that. Um, mm -mm. Okay, yes, enzymes, probiotic, work, we're working on some combo of it all. Yes. Can you take the protein if you have kidney us. problems? Um, you're supposed to walk oh, your protein intake. So sure. yeah, just keep, have it monitored, discuss with your doctor, Correct. but it doesn't mean you can't have any protein. So just watch your intake. Yep, you're, it, there's different things, right? So you have your serum creatinine you want to get kidney tests, your, your clearance, you want to know your GFR. Like these are things that you'll discuss with your provider and they'll talk about, hey, I'm trying to hit a gram of protein a day. I weigh 150 pounds. Are you okay with this? And have a conversation and monitor your kidney, le kidney levels and your metrics. But again, if you're putting on more lean muscle mass and you're helping drop some, if you have extra, extra fat, then your kidney parameters will improve. Um, by improving your body composition. So, um, Jenny says, I'm 67 and live good, makes me feel like 27. I'm not joking. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anything for the MTHFR gene? Yes, our methylated forms of the B vitamins in our multivitamin. Super important for you to take. She has MTHFR gene mutation. Yep. So, we've been pretty well schooled on that topic. And we did talk about the children earlier. Our, child, our children use some of our supplements what happens when there's no sun i mean it doesn't mean that it's not effective yeah no it doesn't mean it's not effective i just like the sun because it is the consumer's effect you can also catch the red light and i don't know was it 620 620 to 700 nanometer range or something like that yeah um victor yeah, victor something for the gym users i mean sure we have our lean body pack which sure. has you know the essential aminos and the protein in there but we have our creatine plus hmb coming out yep. soon yep. we have the um Upgraded, upgraded E3 coming 
And, and I hesitate to call it E3 pre-workout because I don't want to make people think that it's just for working out, but absolutely. Right. Wait till you see the ingredients. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a zoom on it here real soon. Fantastic. I mean, it's almost great too. Like if you're not, a, like if you don't love coffee, sure. um, I mean, and you know, you do that gives you that morning energy. Yep. The new E3 is going to have beta alanine. It's going to have alpha GPC. I mean, guys, the ingredients are just fantastic. They're great for gym people and, and non-gym people. So Yes, infrared lights um, will work for it as well. Um, you take a choice today. Yeah, using the frost. Yes, guys, you guys got the question pouring in here. This is great. Mix to give any products okay? Uh, yeah, they are. Um, you know, do what works for you. I always give the examples like my protein shake in the morning is always my, the protein, the greens, and the coffee and the collagen. Love that combo. Um, I like my aminos and super reds mixed. So you kind of just feel like your, your taste preference as well as how it balances out, you know, your day. A lot of people do put the collagen in the coffee. So Maria, we did cover the SSRIs uh, interaction with methylene blue and our methylene blue um, Zoom. So if, if that's a question, please check that out. Or, let, you know, if you have anybody asking questions, check it out. Let, let me know. Or you can email me, of course. Yes. If we don't get your question covered, uh, you can also definitely email yeah. it. Um, can factor four be taken more than twice a day for severe inflammation or pain? Yes. Max dose is what, eight per day? I say six. Six per day? Yeah. Yeah. We take four per day, personally. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that's four per day without really it, having any like not, known inflammation. I, I'm not saying max dose is six a day, but I mean, it really shouldn't be much reason to go above six a day. Uh, you're, right. Yeah, you're at that, at that, yeah. Or, you know, if you want a heavy load and then. I guess that's about three, three, 3,600 milligrams of EPA and DHA. That's six soft gels a day, which would be perfectly in between that three to four grams for like managing, helping your lipids, your triglycerides and such. Yes. Other flavors offered the protein. Yes. Working on a chocolate. We're just kind of trying to get the taste. We are. Yeah. We're dialing in a chocolate uh, protein right now. It's, try, it's hard to keep it clean and keeping it so clean. Even like, it's like always a challenge to, to nail the, the flavor profile. Um, changing the packages to uh, the canisters to the packaging, like the collagen. Yes. Thank you for that. Um, Joyce. Yes. We, I mean, that would be a goal because that reduces like these big, plastic containers. Sure. Um, unfortunately, pricing is so difficult with the bags, believe it or not. They cost a lot more. So we're trying to find the balance of, of how to make it work. You'll, you'll see more of it, actually, because we're, we, we are right now actively looking for more eco-friendly packaging. I mean, this is definitely on our radar. I mean, Lisa and I are big environmental. We, we really do try to do our part. And so yes, you'll, look, you'll, you'll see some further improvements in the future. Yeah. Um, have had a lot of requests for like a decaf coffee, you know, maybe in the future we'll do something like a, um, like a, like a hot chocolate mushroom, you know, kind of coffee, but that's, like you know, way in the future. Yes. MT HFR. We need methylated. Yes, we do. Time of day best to take methylene blue. Again, we just say, you know, I would just do it first thing in the morning or I think morning. Yeah. That, that I, I way do. you can think... utilize that, the brain stimulation. Sure. Yeah. What red light therapy light is best to use? If you're doing, if you're going for a red light, you can actually get the scent that wavelength. I think it's 620 or 600 to 720 nanometers. And, um, I think you can get it in led rather cheap. You can even look on Amazon. Right. Um, a little bit burning with the methylene blue. Yes, that yeah. is normal. That's Tingly. Normal. Yeah. That's known. Yep. Um, what is recommended for diabetes and cholesterol levels? Again, both of those um, we have done Zooms on. Mm -hmm. All of our Zooms um, are either recorded or streamed live and can always be accessed from our YouTube channel. So please reference those. Like we do those for you and we keep them there for you. Yeah, for sure. And Tina just said, should we stop taking other supplements when prior to starting Live Good? Well, no, I mean, ask us. Let us compare and help you. And we'll, we'll, we'll tell you straight up when there's some other supplement that we don't have that can replace right. it. That's... Or I might say, well, we have that. So go ahead and finish what you have yeah, and yeah. replace it with don't ours. Waste anything. Don't throw stuff away unless it's just garbage. And we'll tell you that too, if it's just not good for you.
Again, you can find this, this being streamed live on YouTube. Everything can be watched at your convenience. We understand a lot of people cannot attend our Zooms live. <clears throat> Considering more, more supplements for pets, possibly. Yes. So yeah. Like joint health. And yes, you'll see more pet line. The folate is methylated, correct? Yes. Um, I would say your, your daily protein intake with your goal weight. So like if you're someone that's 200 pounds and your goal is 150 pounds, base it on that 150 pounds. Um, I don't think that. Can you take factor four more than twice a day for pain or flare ups? I mean, will it make a difference if you're no, but I suggest taking it along with food. So if we're possible, let's take it, you know, we could do two soft gels with each meal at six a day. You want to split it some other way, split it some other way. Totally fine. You guys should also consider if you're going to see your medical provider, get an omega-3 index too. So you can see how it's beneficial for your uh, blood, your blood parameters. Mine are off the charts good right now. The doc was super excited. Um, this is a question about how long till you notice benefits. This one's specific to the collagen. I always say for a rule of thumb, like wait till you wait to evaluate anything until you've been on something consistently for three months. But I will tell you, and you've heard me say this before with my eyelashes, <laughs> I feel like, um, you know, I've only been taking the collagen. I mean, I had been taking other collagens prior to, but since I started this one, I swear I, I haven't changed anything else and my eyelashes are growing like crazy. So, um, you know, everybody's different. I really can't give a number, but wait three months for your body to acclimate. Where? Oh, Larry again said that, uh, Where? go up a little bit. And it looks like it's 620 to 1400 nanometers for the red light, for the infrared, oh. for the red light. Thank you, Larry. Spectrum. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Just you guys can confirm that probably with an easy Google um, search. Essential oils coming, uh, singles, yes. and a blend. Yeah, six pack. Uh, do, do, do. Factor four completely got rid of my wrist pain from doing push ups and typing too much. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, Right on, Courtney. Um, thanks for everything you do. Sorry, trying to get a few. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar and diabetes, watch our insulin resistance Zoom. Travel size products, I, the reason I want to say unlikely is just because the cost of them, you know, because you are paying for the cost of the material. Sure. So that's going to cost, I know it's a great convenience, but that's going to cost more. So I would just suggest finding a way that works for you to portion things out into smaller little sizes. You know, Amazon is great for little trinkety, you know, travel things, um, just like we do with our, our, our um, toiletries, right? You portion out your shampoos, your conditioners, just something like that. Um, How are we doing? Uh, I mean, this is long. We're running. Protein and aminos. You do need to take both. They're both very different. Yes. Very different. I like the aminos in between our protein. It's almost like saying like... Um, I like it first thing in the morning fast. also almost saying, well, I'm taking amino acids, so I don't need to go eat the chicken breast or that steak or um, some fish. It's you know, this is designed to help increase our protein goals for the day because it's hard to get enough pro grams of protein in per day without exceeding your caloric intake, you know? So again, this is 106 calories of 20 grams of protein so, and the convenience of it, guys. Uh, and it's delicious. Michelle says, rumor has it we're getting red light therapy. Yeah, you know, we could. We could easily bring a cheap red light, you know, something that's, you know, I don't know what the market looks like for those. We actually have an infrared sauna that um, we have red light in. I like it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And I have the face mask. I don't know if you've seen that. It's pretty freaky when you it is walk freaky. around. You should probably put that all on. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, hilarious. Who creates these products? Uh, we formulate, and then we have three manufacturing partners, partners that yeah. we work with. Two, um, one, two, two in New York, two in Florida. They're both, they're all NSF, CGMP. Um, fantastic, actually. Very, very good. Um. So when it comes to pregnancy, breastfeeding, prenatals, all that jazz, uh, this is similar to kids. I mean, we have to defer to your OBGYN because they know best what's going on. 
what your body really needs. It's not to say that you cannot take them, just take the supplements with you or show them the website, let them look at the ingredients, say, is this great? Do I need anything a little bit more? Because of course you have a baby that's going on in you, or if you're breastfeeding, you need, you need uh, more nutrients. So <clears throat> talk to you or the, the Specifically the folate and the, and the EPA, DHA, in the, so that would be factor four and the multivitamins. But I would love magnesium, vitamin D with K2. I mean, so just run it by the pediatrician or the obstetrics. Um, prostate health. We do have uh, lycopene added to the men's multi yeah. for that reason. Um, household products, skincare. Yes, those are, will be here in the future. Yes. Yes. Is our protein considered a mere replacement? No. Um, and I want you to be wary of things that say meal replacements because in the U.S. there are no guidelines. So anybody can, I, we could have put meal replacement on here, but, and, and when a lot of people show me a product that they're taking that says meal replacement, and I look at it, it has less calories, it has less protein than ours does, not a meal replacement. You need to have a, um, a, a well-rounded amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fats, as well as calories to become a meal replacement. Um, I do know uh, the European Union has guidelines. I think it's somewhere from 250 calories to 400 calories. It's, and, then, and then it breaks it down from there, your nutrient profile that you need to be to, to um, call it a meal replacement. So be careful of that. Now, if you wanted to make this a meal replacement, I have put, posted a video on how I do it. I'll have either <clears throat> one to two scoops of protein. Lately, I've been only doing one because I add in the collagen that increases my protein content. And I'll put some fruit in there for my nice carbohydrates and then vitamins with the fruit. And I'll also put a little bit of avocado so I get my fat in there. So that increases the calories and also makes it a well, more well-balanced meal. So there's ways to do it um, because I do use my protein powder as my breakfast in the morning. So I make a, I make a meal replacement. And I prefer not to do that. I try to chew my food. I think mastification is important. So you're getting the enzymes released in the mouth. The enzymes start an entire cascade of biochemical reaction. So there's the chewing component to food is also very important. Um, all nutritional information is on the label. So um, I'm not sure what your, there's how many B vitamins, it's, it's all on the label, all on the label. <clears throat> there are some label changes coming to you guys. We're gonna do a Zoom here real soon on that. There's some few of our products that we're adjusting, changing labels, making some updates too. Because um, we're always trying to improve, I promise you that. I mean, body size of the body, don't body bother. weight, and it, yeah, it doesn't make there was hypertension. Um, uh, uh, we'll just skip that one, Dwayne. Sorry. We've we've answered it a lot, but yeah. specifically, go ahead and email. Right. Hmm. We're almost there. Yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. Guys. Great questions, guys. Awesome. So um, remember, if your question didn't get answered, we're always here to email and we're going to continue to do this the last Monday of every month. So if you have some questions, uh, go ahead and save them for that. All right, cool. All right, All right. we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to go out for a short walk, take the dogs, get some sun on my methylene blue tongue. Y'all have a great, awesome, productive week.